So we are going to go over a few troubleshooting tips on the Biostar 1500 Coltrane, as well as how to install the piston in the auto opener. So a few things I want to point out to you if you are struggling with the assembly. Please note on the sides, the on these aluminum profiles that run along your side slanted pieces, the lip of the aluminum goes towards the inside. That applies to this side, to your left side and your right side. The lip will be on the inside. For the front and the back, that extra lip will be on the outside. So here it's on the outside, on the front, and on the back, it is also on the outside. Now this is especially important because that is what creates your hinge for your door. So this little hook of this extrusion inserts into that lip and comes down to create your hinge. And that's how it hinges. So that's why it's important on the front and the back, the lip goes to the outside, and the sides, the lip goes on the inside. Now moving on to your, your auto opener for your cold frame. It has, it has a threaded collar piece here, and it also has this cast metal piece with this hole in it and it rotates. That is what the rod of your piston is going to go in this collar and into this hole in this cast T piece. To do this, it will be easier if your piston is chilled. So I have mine in a cup of ice water just for a few minutes, 10 minutes will be fine. That allows the paraffin oil in the piston to contract so you can push that rod in as far as possible. So we'll take the piston and it inserts in through that collar, inserts into that T-piece, and then there's a tiny little hole up here and you will want to rotate that piston until you can see through it. Now that rod and that hole is lined up. You will then, I'm going to flip it over so you can see. Oops line it up and you are going to stick that pin through oops actually make sure it goes all the way through So then you get the pin in, which holds the piston. Then you're going to go through this collar piece. So you take the threading here and go into your threaded piece. I think my piston isn't cool enough. If it's not cool enough, you may have to open it a little bit, but it's best if you, oops, if you can get it to where it's cool. So then you begin threading that in. So there you go. And if you want the pit, if you want the opener to open more or less, you're going to thread it in more, which will keep the opener further open. And you can see as I'm pushing this in, it's stretching it further and further open. All right, so I'm going to bring it back down enough so I can get this installed. Now, when you install it, now I already have. The, the thick bracket with all the holes attached here with screws going in. And one of the plates, one of these rectangular plates, these are threaded holes that's gonna work as your nut for both screws. So for instance, on this front one, they're just threading right into that threaded piece. So when you put your opener in, you're gonna put it in with the piston pointing down, oh, sorry. <laughs> the piston pointing down, coming down towards the front, and we're going to attach it to the top. So you have the holes on the top of your panel here, 
for your screws. So we will put one screw in. Again, it's going into those threaded holes. Use your flathead screwdriver. You can tighten those just enough. So at this point your opener is swinging loose, you've got your piston in, and then to engage your opener, you push these two arms together. This is a quick release feature, and you put it into your bracket, which is installed there. So in this case, we have it slight, it's opening slightly. If you want it to be more, you do your quick release, and thread your piston in further. I'm turning clockwise at this point, which will make it open further. Which also means it'll open up at a lower temperature. And then you can click it back in and now you can see it's further open. Open further. You also have these green clips. These, they attach in this top and then you can use those to prop it open or you can also use it to latch the cold frame shut if you don't want it to open at all. If you don't want this one to open at all, you do have to release the piston, you can let it hang and then you would lock it down. If you have any questions, you can email us at customerservice at exaco.com or give us a call.